Netflix never disappoints with a new trailer, but something that they definitely did not disappoint with, it seems like a lot of the fans are really happy about this, is some of the changes that's going to be coming with this next season that we're going to talk about in today's video. Make sure to leave a comment down below, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel for a chance to win a thousand Apex coins that I give away every single video. The winner of last video is at the end of this video, so stay tuned. As you guys can tell, I'm still sick. I don't know why it's not going away, so excuse my voice. And also, we hit a thousand likes on last video, so the dog reveal, I actually have two dogs, and here's a picture of them both. The big dog, many of you will remember, I actually got a year ago as a puppy, and he's gotten that big now. So Apex Legends released their brand new season launch trailer, which is a little bit weird. Usually they don't do that. They normally do the story of the Outlands first, but at the very end of the launch trailer today, it showed and revealed the story of the Outlands coming out on April the 28th. So make sure to stay tuned for that as well. And even though it's something small, I do like when they kind of mix it up so it's not so predictable. I don't like it when the seasons are so uh, much of a pattern and we just kind of know everything all the time. But the community really had a positive reaction to some things that we saw on the EA website after this trailer went live. So Apex Legends Alpha Intel was tweeting this stuff out uh, as it happened. Also, Shrugtall himself uh, was also making some tweets regarding this. So I'll talk about it that's on the EA website and what people are really excited for. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm picking up on the words wrong here, but maybe I'm looking into it too much. I don't know. So Shrugtall tweeted out saying the same thing. Reworked rank system of season 13. Alpha Intel said the exact same thing as well. But then quoted what they said. And I feel like this is a little bit of key words here rise and fall through the ranks together in a reworked rank system that rewards teamwork and skill so my my thoughts on this are a it's going to uh kind of like call of duty um if you top frag on your team you get a little bit better elo than if you were bottom fragging um i think if you contribute more to your team if you get a lot of damage maybe here uh, you might be getting more RP than if you're not doing a lot of damage or if you're kind of weighing your teammates down. It may not be entirely based upon placements anymore and kills anymore. I'm not sure. I, I, maybe there's a little bit of uh, incentives with damage and kills and, uh, and maybe just being a part of your team, getting revives maybe. I'm not really sure. But something that did interest me, and I, like I said, I could be looking into this, but when it says rise and fall, I wonder if they're going to bring demotion, but I'm not really sure. I know it's been something that people have requested for a really long time, but they did come out and basically say that uh, it was just too hard of an idea to pitch to EA and respawn and that it just kind of wasn't that practical and it actually hurts more of the player base than helps. So I have a hard time believing that that is talking about demotion, ranked tier demotion. Obviously, it could still be talking about the normal demotion that we already have from, you know, divisions that are in your rank and in your tier. But I guess that's always still an ongoing discussion about whether or not ranked tier demotion should actually exist in the game. Being able to drop from diamond down to plat, master down to diamond, etc. But what I really like to see was the reaction to this. A lot of people seem to be very excited about this new rank system and the way it's reworked. And I also think that whether or not it's always the best decision, I think it is always somewhat of a good decision to make things new to kind of spice it up a little bit even if it's the wrong direction to take maybe the the old fashion they had was actually the most healthy for the game i think taking a new approach always excites people and gets them interested to try new things so regardless i think that ranked is actually going to have a lot of people playing it this season and i guess another discussion that always needs to be talked about is the art style coming out of the recent trailers and how much different they are from the originals and the two different companies that have done them in the apex legends uh history and as you can tell these are night and day some people are just saying yo it's a different art style it's not really bad but i mean considering how good the mill has done on the left side uh, it's definitely pretty bad. There was one, I think, from the season 11 trailer where Lifeline's eyes, like, in order to do, like, a surprised reaction, uh, face reaction, it was like, their eyes were, like, popping out of her head. It was a terrible, terrible animation. People are also a little bit skeptical about this new addition to Storm Point called the Downed Beast. What treasures lie on the shores of Storm Point stay sharp and stick together. Even dead beasts hold danger if you watch the trailer you saw this massive beast come out of the water and was basically attacking all the legends the legends were trying to shoot him fuse tried to shoot his ultimate didn't work so thankfully octane came and saved the day hitting the jump pad turned around bicycle kick the thermite grenade not the thermite uh bangalore's ultimate in his mouth and uh that was what uh sealed the deal but i think people are a little bit skeptical of this because uh when you have things like the prowler park in apex legends or what people call some people call it like jurassic park or something where those prowler beasts will just kind to haunt you and just attack you and it gets really really frustrating and some people are even saying that it's not a, a in-game feature that they would actually want even though it does kind of bring to that lore of the map it's not something that it's enjoyable it's not something that you want on the map so while this may fit a lot of people are worried that maybe it will kind of uh 
be another annoyance on the map something that you have to watch out for and fight and not really be able to continue that player versus player action but have to worry about these stupid environmental things and so some people are a little scared of it i think it's a little different when you have massive maps like on fortnite and you can do these little side quest thing and not worry about people being on you but when you have maps like apex that are a little bit smaller it's a little bit worrisome to have to deal with these kind of things because you could just get third partied like very very easily one thing that does seem pretty exciting is the new legend newcastle obviously we found out this is jackson which is bangalore's brother and by the way bangalore obviously is not leaving the games I i'm kind of confused about how some people actually seem to believe that they were gonna like vault her or something she was gonna be gone for a season that's obviously not the case it just to fit the story newcastle was uh in the trailer you know hanging out at the party whatever bangalore was kind of confused and she was about to leave and then realized that newcastle was actually her brother at the very end of the trailer she basically said you got a lot of explaining to do we saw some of his abilities during here with a shield and uh his kind of like fortress thing i think it's going to be a pretty good legend i think it's primarily maybe going to be for ranked uh i think that pubs might find a little bit of awkwardness playing newcastle just with the same sense have you seen Gibby being very popular in ranked play and not so popular in public matches? He definitely gives me some Gibraltar vibes. And obviously he looks like a defensive character. Someone also spotted out that it was very interesting to see all of these legends working together instead of it being like a 3v3 or you see, you know, people pinned up against each other. All the legends were having, you know, kind of to get together to fight this beast. And I think this kind of opens the story. I know it's like kind of everybody was not wanting to talk about it, but I think this makes a campaign mode look so good. I think this would be so much fun to be able to play campaign with, be able to choose the legend you want to play the campaign story with and go through like, you know, the whole campaign story, learn the lore about everybody, play everybody's act and uh, be able to understand where everybody comes from, why they're, why they're here, because some people are joining the games late or playing Apex late and they don't really know all the lore. They don't know what's going on. And uh, I, I bet a campaign mode would really, really benefit. And also it's content. It's new stuff to play. It's something that could be uh, talked about for years and years. People still talk to this day about old Call of Duty campaigns and how good they were. Some people even go back and revisit those. And so I think this would be something that would be a huge opportunity for Apex to do in the future, having a campaign mode, some kind of like a mission type mode. We talked about it in the last video as well. I think they are moving towards that bigger uh, picture in the long run of having a multiplayer game with like hardpoint, like a griff ball type thing, uplink, whatever, capture the flag, a team death match, control mode as like a multiplayer game, having your battle royale game, obviously as well, having your arenas game as well, maybe even a campaign at some point. And then also maybe like a, a zombies type alien mode thing or something i i don't know where you and your buddies can try to survive like 50 waves of grunts or you know leviathans i don't know something i think it's modes like that that will make apex last like the 10 year span that they're shooting for not just you know a battle royale but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below if you did enjoy make sure you leave a thumbs up on the video subscribe to the channel and also leave a comment down below to be entered into that giveaway the winner from last video was phobias which also said to show the dogs or else he was going to shoot me because i got a thousand likes so for another thousand likes I'll take a picture of my dog sitting for their favorite treat. So let's see if we can hit it. See you all in the next one. Have a great rest of your day. To Robert, I only positivity. Make sure to go down in the comments. Make someone's day better, not worse. And hopefully I'm over the sickness pretty soon. See you all in the next one. And peace. Later, Gators.